Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining for another video. Today, I am not home. I am not at a farm. In fact, I am far, far, far away from my home. I am in... family event and tons of people go so I'm missing my family typically we would have a farm sitter but our farm sitter is away in Hawaii this weekend so I had to stay back and while they're gone I was running some errands and I've already unloaded three of the bags and now I have two more bags of 50 pounds worth of goat feed to take down not all of it was goat feed, some of it was uh, layer feed for our hens. So I call this our country workout. <laughs> Definitely get my workout on. I don't worry so much about going to the gym. I used to go to the gym, we didn't have go to the farm, uh, have a farm. And I've replaced it with this. Although in fairness, my family will tell me, mom, I got that. And they usually do it for me, so. Sorry about all the background noise. We live on a main road, so. Can't tell it looking behind our house, but in front of our house, yeah. All right, let me get at this. So here I am on my mini vacation in the mountains, the Smoky Mountains. We are in a giant cabin that our church rented. It is literally a mansion. It's ginormous, and I'm sharing a room with three other girls. And so I'll just take you little tour and show you what it's like here. Okay, so I'm seated in the window right now. And here is the bed. I have to share it with a friend. My camera, bag, my machine, and stuff in that lamp, which is slightly broken. It's a really nice cabin though. A nice bed over here. It's just a sitting chair. And then there's this really cool closet. It's a little wardrobe, I guess, not a closet. It has blankets and then Sorry about the terrible lighting, it's not that good in this cabin. And then we have a dresser, which we have put our stuff in. It's very handy, very useful. A TV. Some bunk beds. And then just, you know, nightstands and stuff. So it's a pretty normal room. I've been here holding down the fort. It's been super cold here the last couple days. Gotta go clean up. Honestly, it's I've been just in and out, in and out. I know Rachel's like, Mom, make sure you vlog. Ha ah. a little behind. Forgive me, Rachel. Gotta tell you, it's a mess over here, but Lola does not like being inside, do you? No, she does not. So I'm gonna bring her and baby outside to run around in the sun for a little bit and meet the others in the herd. So this will be interesting. take you along with me. I know that I told you I was going to go ahead and show you the milk room um, after I was done cleaning it and I never did. Yes, I have lipstick on on the farm. This is a glamour farm, did you know? No, not really. Um, I just got off work, so I'm headed down to check my go to girls. And if you're wondering what that, that blob is, that blob, that's our transport trailer. So I'm headed down to check out the girls, see how they're doing, and show you guys how I cleaned up the goat, the goat milk room. Oops, here the people before us also had goats, and this is the this is the milk room now. Um, it's still a little chaotic, a little more chaotic than I'd like. 
some water on the floor from when I cleaned it up. I have my stanchion. We actually made this stanchion. Yes, the thing that you put the goat on is called a stanchion. You may or may have not, not have known that. Uh, we made it out of pallets that we pulled apart with the crowbar. And you can see here, we put the goat's head in there. Yep, it's real nice. That's the pieces of a pallet. Didn't have to cut it out or anything. This one's just for stability. All we had to buy uh, for this was the red uh, feed bucket. And this was a horse stall pad that we cut to meet to, to um, fit to fit it. Can I talk today? I don't know. There's still some chaff hay the girls threw around for this morning. I haven't cleaned up. Don't mind that. But the legs of it came from a friend of ours had an old piece of wood that he had laid around. So grand total for this whole stanchion was like $30. So that was a really big good thing. And over here, we like to treat the goats with herbs and stuff. Yes, I'm earthy crunchy. But you know, my friends that are watching this know I am earthy crunchy. We treat the goats with herbs. This is sunflower seeds. That's a treat. We have three buckets of feed. We have my milk feed. My, uh, it's called Milk Enhancer. And that's for that's for the girl who's in milk right now. And then these lids actually will twist on. It's a barn. It's dusty. And clip up and both sides. So that keeps them from getting in and uh, overeating. And this is called shredded beet pulp, which is a nice little treat for them. It helps them get happy and fat. And then this is just regular goat feed, which looks like just like the milk enhancer. So we have to keep them separate. And then this is what they call chaffe, chaffe. Um, and from my understanding, it's it's fermented, so it's better for them. And it also helps give them calcium because it's alfalfa. So, yeah, that's my milk room. I still have some cleaning I want to do. Yep, and we have a milk machine. So, yeah, that's it. So from the milk room, if you go outside, we got chickens, yeah, and we got the goats. Hi girls, how is everybody? Oh look baby, everybody's getting along just fine, just fine. Hello Thor. Hello Thor. You saying hello everybody? Hi Bubba. You good boy. Oh, oh, Maple be nice. Now Maple will kind of chase the baby a little bit, but she won't hurt her. At least I haven't seen her hurt her. Um, she is the queen, queen of the herd. Yes she is, and this is her baby from last year. So goats, typically, you breed them at like a year and a half. Um, May, uh, Lola, Lola, who just had her baby, she's coming up on two years old. And Ivy is just coming up on one year old. So by the time Ivy breeding season next year, Ivy will be ready, ready to breed her to get some babies. And Maple, Maple's five. Maple's the old girl in the barn. Maple, as you can see, is getting pretty big. She's due the end of... March. A few more weeks, Maple. A few more weeks, Maple.